at 8 minutes into this video, the original intro and prophecy will start. In this prophecy video, you will see Ezra Caleb next to Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu for one reason only. And that is so we do not touch the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh that was once on this man and between the both of them that brought this prophecy forth. Taking him out is like touching the anointing and so we can't do it. At the time that he was still obeying Yahushua HaMashiach, the true Savior, the son of Yahweh God, and humbly walking next to his wife, Elisheva Eliyahu, as a male co-leader of Almighty Wit Ministry. But that was a then, and this is a now. And so I inform all of you that at this present time, and we're right now in September, uh, coming into October of 2019, Ezra Caleb is no longer that male co-leader, neither associated with his ministry of a mighty wind in any way, as he chose a path of willful sin, rebellion, occultism, idolatry, self-exaltation, need I go on, this man started to commit crimes against the heavenly holy trinity and against this ministry and the people who considered this ministry to be a blessing. And as a matter of fact, anyone who loves Yahushua and has accepted him as their Lord, God, and Savior. If you want to know what can happen to you if you are in willful sin and rebellion against Yahweh, you do not have to look any further than this man and what happened to him and to his mind. Because the insanity has gone as far as thinking that he is a God. And I leave it at that. Can you imagine that? Thinking that you are God Almighty in the flesh? But this was not so at the time that this prophecy came forth. When he obeyed Yahweh God, and the two anointings became one, him and Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu, it truly was a wonderful thing. How much they accomplished together for the kingdom of heaven, leading souls to Yahushua all over the world, especially in 2016 and 17. Things were wonderful. But in 2018, Things went bad very quickly, as he surrounded himself with a reprobate soul gathering. False visionaries, false prophets from the pit of hell, to soothe his itching ears, seducing him, influencing him, flattering and turning him into this golden calf that ought to be worshipped. And guess what? He fell for it. They turned him against his own wife, Elisheva Eliyahu, a true prophet who would never fill his head with such nonsense, who will only tell him what the Lord God Almighty Yahweh, Yahushua HaMashiach, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit have to say. But he didn't want to hear it anymore. He turned on Elisheva Eliyahu and on anyone who would not fall down in total loyalty at his feet. He allowed himself to be brainwashed so badly that he demanded to be the head of this ministry, which to him means an iron fist dictatorship where he sets out the rules and no longer the heavenly trinity, where Elisheva has totally no say, where he is the only leader and would call the shots. He would have turned this ministry into an orthodox Jewish Kabbalistic Old Blood Covenant ministry until Yahweh God stopped it and kicked him out. There is no male co-leader by Elisha Veliyahu's side at this time. And until that new anointed man comes forth to replace Ezra, you will only see Yahushua HaMashiach himself next to Elisha Veliyahu in this image. For truly he is the one that covers and protects and holds her. He is her Savior and Lord God Almighty, is Yahushua HaMashiach. You also still see her hold up this necklace that this former male co-leader gave her at a time that he truly loved her, and in fact, more importantly, when he truly loved Yahushua. For how can he love a holy virtuous woman unless he truly loves Yahushua himself? This necklace also represents a symbol of the Holy Heavenly Trinity to Elisheva, who are the true head of this ministry. You will not see any other man next to Elisheva in this image 
until the new anointed male co-leader appointed by Yeshua himself will come forth. That new man will cover her and protect her in prayer the way that Ezra was meant to do. This man will always stress the importance of the new blood covenant and will not go back to the old. But he will stress that only Yahushua HaMashiach, the son of Yahweh, is the true Savior and Redeemer and the Lord God Almighty. Ezra Caleb, sad to say, went back to the old blood covenant, committing a crime against Yahushua and against all the people that Yahushua gave his life for at the cross of Calvary. Ezra Caleb was warned Yahweh would not wait any longer for him to come back. Elisha of Eliyahu has got so many prophecies stored up, even for Israel, the Hebrew-speaking people, and they will be released. Please do pray with your whole heart that the man once called Ezra Caleb will come back to the saving grace of Yahushua HaMashiach and to the new blood covenant, that his soul will be spared and saved, that he will come out of agreement with Satan and with the reprobate soul gathering that turned his heart cold against his own wife and against the heavenly holy trinity. But like I said, taking him out of this prophecy at a time when he was walking holy and in obedience to Yahushua, where their anointings were one and brought it forth, would be like touching the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We're not going to do it. This is the only reason why he's left in this video. Now please watch this prophecy. Be blessed, encouraged, edified, taught, and where needed, convicted to turn away from your sins and turn towards Yahushua as your Savior. As all these prophecies do is lead you further into a deeper, loving, obedient, repentant relationship with your Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, with the Heavenly Trinity, and to love them, the Lord God Almighty, who are truly one, the three in one, with your heart, with your soul, with all of your strength, and with all of your mind. I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman. Even before there was a ministry, I put it in your spirit. For none of this has been done by your hands. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua Yamashiach that has been given birth. It is from the mouth of the Rekakadash Yimayah that has been given birth. If it had only been by your hands, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shekinah glory's wind that blows across this earth. The holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath or it would have failed. Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I'm Ezra, a prophet from Israel, and I warn you all, those who are coming against this ministry and these prophecies and Elisheva and I and all the ministers of a mighty wind ministry, I warn you now, touch not Yah's anointed and do his prophets no harm, lest the wrath of the rod of Yah come upon you. Woe be unto anyone that dares to try to harm these two anointed ones. You will regret the day you ever were born. Touch not my anointed, and neither do these two prophets any harm. It would be better for you if I, Abba Yahweh, would tear out your tongue. This prophecy will very much expose a lying, devilish doctrine from preachers from the pit of hell like Victoria Osteen, and you would be amazed at how many others are preaching this, saying that when we praise God, we're not really doing it for Him, but we're doing it for ourselves, and that God really doesn't care if we just curse Him day and night, and that He gains nothing out of our worship and affection. They basically paint him as an emotionless God, and that it's all just for ourselves. But these are lies straight from the pit of hell. And the Holy Trinity, 
Yahweh, Yahushua HaMashiach and the precious Ruach HaKodesh want to be defended against this lie. You will see this again in this prophecy, how much they care about their children. How much they are touched when their children love them from their hearts and from the core of their being, from their souls. And Yahweh God, he weeps and he mourns. And tears were shed as Yahushua touched Elisheva's vocal cords. You will hear this repeatedly in the prophecy spoken through Elisheva. Yahushua wept for Ezra Caleb, telling him to come back. These are all prophecies found on the MightyWind.com and Yas Lady in Red YouTube channel. Yahweh Yahushua and Ruach HaKodesh. No, we do not praise them for our own sake. We don't give glory to them for our own sake. This twisted demonic theology that the Olsteins are preaching is exposed again in this prophecy. The word of Yahweh says if we don't praise him, even the rocks will cry out. Why are we to praise him? They, the Holy Trinity, are the masters of the creation. They are co-creators. We would be nothing without them. Because we owe them everything. They created every animal, every molecule of our body. We worship our creators and we don't do it for our own sake. They bless the creation that they created for fellowship. They do it for our sake. And when they bless us, they really want to bless the creation that they created for fellowship. They love their creation. They do care about everything we do what we think and what we speak. They bless us, yes, for our sake, but they very much need and desire the fellowship and love of their children. They love us so much, they gave Yahushua's blood sacrifice for our sake. Yahushua was touched by our infirmities. That's what the word says. He is not an emotionless God that cannot get hurt by what we do or say or who doesn't really care about what we do. Yes, He is our God and our creators do love us so much. They do everything for their creation and to save us. Lastly, a quick warning. Yahweh God refers in this prophecy to the book of Enoch. This is Enoch 1. Enoch 1 and 2 is to be read as it's inspired by the Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit. But please be careful because Enoch 3, as they call it, is of the devil. Please do not read the book of Enoch 3. But stick with the books that are found on the MightyWind.com and specifically in our library of the lost books of the Bible. Oshete amakatara ba sokoturo wohiki. Ishi ki amakatara ba heki amatara ba so. Osete tere beshiki. Yamakara ba hukaya katara ba ke. Esheti ya katara ba se. Soto toro wohiki ama. Hashaya makatara ba ko amatara ba she. Shete tere amatara ba se. Shete tere amatara ba sokoturo. Aya makatara ba hiki amakaka. Orabuhiya mahata, orabuhiya mahata, etehiya makatara basekishi, sheya mahatara basho, soko toro bohe, ya makatara bakiki, osho tukubosi, siya mahatara bahete, siya mahatara bahete, aya makara bashikite ya makata, soto toro bohe kiki ya matashe, Shoto turu bohe ya mahatara basi. Sete ti ya katara bako ya masa katara basi. Shate ya mkatara basi kuto. Uwa mahata. Uwa mahata. Oh, Abba Yahweh. We just thank you and we praise you in the name of Yushua HaMashiach as we come before your throne. With thanksgiving and praise. Thank you for the Shavuot. Thank you for the countdown of the Omar. Thank you for this harvest time. Thank you, Abba Yahweh, that you bring the same, the Shavuot. You also celebrate the same time, Heavenly Father, that you brought me a, a new male leader, Heavenly Father, in the name of Yahushua. This is how much you honor not only your ministry, but you honor your prophet. That is 
beyond beyond love heavenly father because Yeshua you didn't just go to the cross and pour out your blood for the atonement of our sins for none of us none of us on this earth is perfect but instead heavenly father and beloved Yeshua you also said Yeshua that you would not leave us alone that when you departed you also said you would send the comforter the comforter would come and you told your disciples to wait and count down the days till the upper room and you gave them the date to be there and you said the comforter would be there we know who the comforter is it is the Holy Spirit it is a sweet sweet Holy Spirit the Ruach HaKadosh in Hebrew and in Imaya we thank you and we praise you Imaya we praise you Abba Yahweh we praise you Yahushua that you did this oh I ask now for a word what is it the word you want to say on Shavuot for seven days we will celebrate Heavenly Father that you brought this new male leader a Israeli prophet that is now my beloved husband when we were married on October 2nd 2016 and it was on Rosh Hashanah day when we're waiting for you Yahushua to return on a Rosh Hashanah for you are our first bridegroom and we just wait for you and we ask what is it you want to say right now please what is on your heart for we want the people to come and we want with them to get to know you better they need to know you better they are not learning who you are Abba Yahweh whom some call Jehovah but your name is Yahweh you have Hebrew names and this ministry is a teaches Hebrew names what is it you want to say how can we get the people to know you better to know that you are not just a God of wrath but you are God of everlasting love and patience and mercy but there comes a time when they cross a line when they throw in the blood the toning blood that you shall shed at Calvary back into his very face and say I want to do it my way I'm gonna live life my way and I'm not going to do anything holy for that is boring but you have a word to say and I want to know we need to know as my husband has prayed in holy tongues and they were holy tongues of protection where it says touch not my anointed neither do my prophets any harm what is it you want to say Abba Yah? for the prophets have not been done away we are still valid and we are your eyes and we are your ears and we want to know this is your Abba Yahweh. I love when you call me father. So ko so ko nakata. I am your loving father. So I gave my only begotten son. So ko so ko nakata. Also ko nakata ma nakata. So you could return to heaven again. So ko so ko nakata. For for none of you, none of you are perfect. Only Yahushua is perfect. So ko so ko nakata, whom some call Jesus Christ, but I want you to call him Yahushua by his Hebrew name. So ko so ko nakata maki. You will find there is more power and anointing in the Hebrew name, but you there is still power and anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just please, I want to get to know you better on the Shavuot, Soko Soko Yananakata, whom they call the Day of Pentecost, Soko Yanakata. So many just say it's just the Day of Pentecost. Soko Soko Yananakata Maki, Arinanakata. And this is to be released on Shavuot, Soko Soko Yananakata, Paranayakata, Soko Soko Yananakata Maki. That is why I'm calling it Shavuot, Soko Soko Yananakata Makelakata. This is what my prayer is for you, my children. Soko soko yanan. This is what I ask of you, my children. Soko soko yanan akata. My children, my children, my children, my babies, my babies, my babies. Soko soko yanan akata. 
I want to get to know you better. I am your creator. There is none other. You never put religions together. This is not about a religion. This is about a relationship with your creator. This is about your Messiah, your Savior. Who paid the price at Calvary? So from hell you would not go. So I could hear your prayers again. So I could forgive you of your sins. He shed his own blood, for his blood was perfect. It came from heaven. He is not just the Son of God Almighty, I, Yahweh, He is not just the Son of Imaya, the Ruach HaKadosh, the Sweet Holy Spirit, He is God also, All three of us are one, Sokosokoyananakata. Teach them, my child. Teach them. Tell them to look at an egg. What part is the egg? I taught you this from the very beginning. I'm going to tell you to teach it again. Tell them. Tell them, my child. Look at an egg. Is the egg the shell? Is the egg the yolk? Is the egg the white? What part is the egg? It is the entirety. The egg is an egg. We three, the Trinity, are one. I, the Lord thy God, are one. So in Anakata, or in Anakata, Abba Yahweh, Yushua, and Imaya, the Raka Kadesh, Holy Spirit, we are one. This is what I want you to teach them on Shavuot. This is what I want the Jews to understand. They cannot argue when they look at an egg. I speak as though they are a child now. I speak as though all of you are children because you are children. You who think you know so much know so little. I want to teach you as a child. This ministry is to be taught as though everyone is a child. Come to me now. As a child, let us start over again. Do not believe what is being taught now. That all religions can come together. No, 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 and no. Those that call him Allah or Muhammad, so where is where is the aton atonement for the sin? For there is no forgiveness of sin. So in a, without the blood atonement, Yahushua is the only one who paid the price. And he took the place of that Passover lamb. He is that Passover lamb. He was even killed at the same time. That the Passover lamb was killed. And he's hung on that cross. And he was tortured. And he was beaten. And he was humiliated. And he carried your shame and every disease every sickness he did this for you my children but he did not just die for no one could take his life as he hung on that cross for three hours perfectly innocent Perfectly pure and holy, not even a thought of sin could enter his head. Although he was tempted by Satan for 40 days, never once even a thought of sin entered his head. Be ye holy, so live holy, so koyana nakata. 
I am a kata. He gave his life for you, but that did not mean soko soko yana nakata. That man took his life. Even he is the one who said it is finished. Soko soko yana nakata. Ayana, and then he died, Sokoyanakata. But oh, I want you to celebrate on Shavuot, Sokoyanakata. On the third day, he proved he was alive, Sokosokoyanakata. And he walked into a door that was barred, Sokosokoyanakata, where the disciples were hiding and grieving, Sokosokoyanakata. For he showed himself, Sokosokoyanakata, after he had went to hell, Sokoyanakata, and let the devil and the demons know, Sokoyanakata, they had failed, Sokosokoyanakata, Aranamokoyanakata, Makialakata, they had failed, Sokoyanakata, Paranianakata, for he is God Almighty, Sokosokoyanakata, he is your Lord and Savior, Sokoyanakata, he is my son, Sokosokoyanakata, but he wears the title, Sokoyanakata, of Lord God Almighty. He is a Messiah. He is a Savior, Sokoyanakata, Paranianakata, Oranianakata. And the disciples rejoice, Sokoyanakata. I ask you to rejoice on Shavuot. For you see, he did not leave, Sokoyanakata. You, without saying that he was going to send the comforter, Sokoyanakata. He appeared before the disciples and said, I am sending the comforter, Sokosokoyanakata, Makielakata, Ayananakata Mokoto, Aranakata, Aranianakata Mokoto, and the comforter is the sweet Holy Spirit, Sokosokoyanakata. Now I tell you a secret on this Shavuot, Sokoyanakata. So many of you do not know, Sokoyanakata, and you who are. Sokoyan, do not know anything of the Bible, Soko Sokoyananakata. Nanakata, these words that I speak now, Soko Sokoyananakata, you must first repent, Sokoyananakata. Get on your knees before me, Soko Sokoyananakata. Before I could not hear your prayers, Soko Sokoyananakata, for Yahushua had to be crucified and given his own blood, Sokoyananakata to take your place on that cross at Calvary, Sokoyananakata. He suffered for you, Sokoyananakata. So when you confess and repent of your sins, Sokoyanakata, and you truly try to do your best to live holy before me, obeying Sokoyananakata, not just the Ten Commandments, but the Torah laws, which is the full instructions of Yahushua that apply to this time now, Sokoyananakata. Paranianakata, Soko Sokoyananakata, Makelekata, Oranianakata. Repent, Sokoyananakata, means you say that you are sorry. It is not like Donald Trump had said, Soanakata, before he knew better, Soko Sokoyananakata, that he never had asked to be forgiven, Soko Sokoyananakata. Now he knows he must be asked to be forgiven. Soko soko yananakata, all must ask to be forgiven. Soko yananakata, aranakata makoto, oranamokoto yananakata makielakata. O Shavuot is such a holy time, soko soko yananakata. And the countdown of the Omar, if you've not been doing this, even Yahushua did this. Oh, this means harvest time, soko soko yananakata. There is so much more I want to teach you, but it is not yet now. Soko soko yananakata makela. I will speak forth more prophecies of this. Soko soko yananakata. Right now, I just want you to know, soko soko yananakata, how much, how much, how much we need your comfort also. Soko soko yananakata. Now I speak to those who are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit. Soko soko yananakata. The sweet Ruach Hakodesh. Soko soko yananakata. I speak to those who do their very best, Sokoyan, not to offend me, Soko Sokoyananakata. These are the ones I want to speak to, Sokoyananakata. Manakata Mokoyananakata Maki. We need your comfort, Soko Soyanakata. Do you know that the Holy Trinity needs your comfort, Soko Soyanakata? I speak to the babies, bride, chosen ones, and elect, Soko Soyanakata. You come to us and you need comforting, Soko Yananakata. 
and we are there sokosona nakata makela kata you come to us with your prayers and we are there sokoyana nakata you ask of me sokoyana nakata and you receive sokosokoyana nakata for we are there sokoyana nakata but do you not understand so we weep sokosokoyana nakata ah yahave weep yahushua weep Ima ya weep, soko soko yana nakata mokoto kore na nokoto. We we weep, soko yana nakata. We laugh with you, soko yana nakata. We want to laugh with you. We want to play with you, soko yana nakata. You are children. So what father doesn't want to play with his child? What father doesn't want his child to ask him questions, soko soko yana nakata? Oh, what good father, Sokoyana Nakata. What holy father, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. I do not speak of anyone other now than those who truly belong to Yahushua HaMashiach, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. The others will not even understand. And for those who do not understand, this word is not even for you. So just don't even listen, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. Don't bother to complain, so in a nakata. Don't bother to call her a false prophet, so in a nakata. For I have plainly worn, touch not my anointed, so in a nakata. And neither do my prophets any harm, so ko so ko yana nakata. I want a relationship with my beloved one, so ko so na nakata. I do not only want you to fear me, Sokoyana nakata, but fear is the beginning of wisdom, Sokoyana nakata. Oh, yeah, I want you to obey me, Sonakata. Strive, strive, strive to live holy, Sokoyana And when you fail, Sonakata, and sooner or later you're going to be like a disobedient child, and you will fail, Sokoyana Nakata. But repent, ask forgiveness, and do not think, Sokoyana Kata, that you should have died on that cross just to give you an excuse so you can sin again. Sokoyana Nakata, you are held accountable for what you know. Sokoyana Nakata, Mayana Nakata. David was a man after my own heart for one reason. Sokoyana Nakata. He knew how to repent. Sokoyana Nakata. He grieved and he cried. Sokoyana Nakata. And he asked forgiveness. Sokoyana Nakata, Makela Kata, Waranyana Kata. And I could speak to him, and I could speak to him, and I want to speak to you, Soko Soko Yana Nakata. I'm going to have Elisheva and Ezra now, Soko Yana Nakata. This Israeli prophet, Soko Yana Nakata, that is now Elisheva's husband so, and the male leader of this ministry, Soko Yana Nakata. I chose. Him. I appointed him, I anointed him to take the place of the counterfeit that was there, so in Anakata, and stopped even believing in me, so Anakata, over seven years ago, so Anakata. Diaper salvation does not count, so Sokoyana Anakata. Tricycle salvation does not count. That's just a little child's bike, so Sokoyana Anakata. They start out trying to do what's right, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, and then they forsake me, Soko Soko Yana Nakata. They forsake holiness, Soko Soko Yana Nakata. They say it's too hard, Soko Yana Nakata, to do it Yahweh's way, Soko Soko Yana Nakata. Oh, but you, Ezra and Elisheva, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, you please me. Sokoyana Nakata Makela Kata. You please me because you try, Sona Nakata. And all you others that I speak to now that are the children of Yushua Hamashiach. All because of the price that was paid at Calvary, Sokoyana Nakata. Because you believe that he did not stay dead, but on the third day he did arise and he did ascend to heaven. And he did come back, Soko Soko Yanakata, with instructions to the disciples, Soko Soko Yanakata. And as he ascended, Soko, so he will come again, Soko Yanakata. Just don't put any date on it, Soko Soko Yanakata. But I tell you this, Soko, look at the signs of the world, look at the signs of the sky, read every single prophecy and devour it, Soko Soko Yanakata. For you see, these are not just mere words, Soko Yanakata. 
my daughter that is prophesizing now, who is an apostle, a prophet, and whom I call my ring maiden, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, started in 1995 online, Soko Soko Yanakata, where I, Yahweh, gave birth to this ministry to bring souls to Yahushua HaMashiach, not one by one, but by million as uh, millions at a time, Soko Soko Yana Nakata. In so many different languages, Soko Soko Yana Nakata. She cannot even keep track of the number anymore, Soko Yana Nakata, Makele Kata, Arena Nakata. And even as a book has been written explaining who the Holy Spirit is and the secrets of the Holy Spirit that took so long to write to back up with scripture, Soko Soko Yana Nakata. Who do you think wisdom is? Why do you think even the King James Version Bible calls her a she? In what image do you think Eve was made in? When I said let us make man into our image, I did not say my image, I said our image. It is not just I, but it was Imaya, Soko Soko Yanakata. And that Imaya is the image of Eve, Soko Yanakata, Oyanakata. And you men are made in the image of I, Yahweh, Koyanakata, but Yanakata, and Yahushua, Soko Soko Yanakata. So teach them, Soko Yanakata. Teach them even on Shavuot, Soko Yanakata. Sing to me, Sokoyana Nakata. Sing to the Holy Trinity, Sona Nakata. Do not just enter into prayer, Sokoyana Nakata, and ask questions, Sokoyana Nakata, but sing, Sokosina, praise, Sokoyana Nakata. Enter into my heavenly courts before my throne, Sokoyana with reverence, Sokosoko, with love, Sokoyana, with worship. So in the name of Yahushua, so in the never think you can enter into my presence in your own name, so in the for only will I listen in the name of Yahushua, so in the whom some call Jesus Christ, so so in the but I'm asking you, learn the Hebrew name now, so in the before it is counterfeited in the great tribulation, so so in the as your Nella Shava, you please me so much, for you don't only sing to me, you don't only pray to me, but Ella Shava, you do so much more, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, Bariana Nakata, both of you, Soko Soko Yana Kata, Makela Kata, you teach all that I give you, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, you lead souls to me. To my son Yahushua, Soko Soko Yananakata, and Yahushua, Soko Soko Yananakata, Makelakata. You bring no souls to me, Soko Soko Yananakata, Makelakata. I, I said I would not miss one, Soko Yananakata. When the names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, Soko Soko Yananakata, Yanakata. There is also a book of the damnation, and there is also the book of the blotted out, Soko Soko Yananakata. But I speak of the book of, of life, Soko Soko Yananakata. And when the name is written down, and you have given up, and you have turned away, Soko Yananakata, Bakelakata. I've already foreknown this, as Roman 8 plainly says, Soko Soko Yananakata. As soon as the name has been written, Soko Soko Yananakata. It is immediately blotted out, soko, as if it was never there, soko, soko, yananakata, and it appears in the book of the damnation. Soko, soko, yanan. These are secrets I tell you this day that is even greater than the prayers I had said before, soko, yananakata, ayanaka, that I had told you to pray, soko, soko, yananakata. Pray that your name never be found in the book of the blotted out, for it is better to be already put in the book of the damnation, so for that is the only reward you will receive on this earth, so Nakata, is to live your life, so Nakata, living for the devil, so Soko and doing it your way, so Nakata, in a short number of years, so Soko Nakata, and then comes hell and the lake of fire, so Soko Nakata. 
Oh, but you who do it my way, Sokoyana Kata, you are in the book of life to stay, Sokoyana Nakata, and you say, I will not do it my way, Sokoyana Nakata, for it is I that do not live, but we ask you, Yahushua, to live your life through me, Sokoyana Nakata, and you do it, I, Yahweh's way, Sokoyana Nakata Maki. So I do want you to take time to comfort us. Do you know that the God of your creation, the God of your salvation, and Imaya, the sweet Holy Spirit, you, without the Holy Spirit, you could not have come to Yahushua. She is the one who compels you. She is the one who draws you. Or you would not even care. Soko soko yananakata. Paraniya nakata no koto koyana nakata. Araniya kata. Oriana nakata niya nakata. Now I want you to know. Soko yananakata ma ilakata. What other the prophets have not said. Soko yananakata. Zinakata. How do you think we feel? Soko yananakata. When even the name of ya, of Jesus Christ is used as a curse word. Soko soko yana nakata maki, wana kata maki ala kata na nokoto. When I and Yahushua and even all Imaya, the sweet Holy Spirit, and the Bibles, all the Holy Scriptures, soko soko yana nakata, are now mocked. So nakata, nakata. How few even want to live holy. Now our book, so nakata. In the book you call the Bible, Soko Soko Yanakata, but it's truly called the Holy Scriptures, for it is not just one book, Soko Yanakata. There are other books, Soko Soko Yanakata, like the Book of Enoch, Soko Soko Yanakata. They call them the lost books of the Bible, Soko Soko Yanakata, but they are not all lost, Soko Yanakata. They can be found, Soko Yanakata, if you will, but look. Soko soko yana nakata. I want to teach you, soko yana nakata. I want to teach you that you must have a testimony as unto Enoch, soko soko yana nakata. For he did not see death, soko soko yana nakata. But he walked with me and he was my friend, soko soko yana nakata. And he did not see death, instead he was raptured to heaven, soko soko yana nakata. He walked with me, Sokoyana Nakata. The angels, Nakata, as Enoch was upon their back, Sokoyana Nakata, carried him to heaven, Sokoyana Nakata, where he even seen where the fallen angels are, Sokoyana Nakata, just so I could warn you now, Sokoyana Nakata. There is a heaven and there is a hell, Sokoyana Nakata, and there is a place. Well, where the fallen angels are, and the enemies of this ministry, I tell you this: soko soko yana nakata, makela kata na nokoto, orana yana nakata. War has been decreed from heaven, soko soko yana nakata. If you do not repent, soko soko yana nakata, and to the reprobate, soko yana nakata. Ayana, you know who you are, Sonanakata. You not only hate these prophets, Soko Soko Yananakata, the leadership, Soko Soko Yananakata. And I tell you this, Sonanakata, they only take orders from Ayave, for truly only the Trinity is the leadership, but I had to have someone on earth, just like I've done in the old books, Soko Soko Yananakata, to be my mouth, Soko Soko Yananakata. And that's what this prophet is, Soko Soko Yananakata. Arinakata, no, she hears from me, Soko Yananakata. My true prophets will speak holiness. My true prophets will not be afraid to offend. For the sake of your soul, Soko Soko Yananakata, learn of this, Soko Yananakata. On Shavuot, Soko Soko Yananakata. When they started praying in tongues, Soko Yananakata. So in a, the disciples, they gathered in the upper room, and the witnesses that witnessed this, as they gathered around the mock, and they even said that they were drunk, but it is a gift from heaven, 
So you can hear from me more clearly. But it is not. If you do not have the gift of tongues, so it does not mean that you are not saved. Do not believe this lie. So you are saved. So when you truly strive to obey, every word Yahushua says in Ayahaveh. And when you get on your knees and you can say, Come into my heart, come into my life, come into my soul, come into my body, come into my mind. Yahushua, take over. Live your life through me. For you gave your life so that I could be set free. From the devil, so ko so, and the demons, so ko so ko yana nakata, and from hell, so ko so ko yana nakata. You did it, so ko yana nakata, in such a way, so ko, no one can deny, so ko yana nakata. That's why even the initials B.C. before Christ has not been erased, so ko so, from the time of history, so ko so ko yana nakata maki. I for they know that he lived. Soko soko yana nakata, and he still lives and is alive. Soko soko nakata. Ah, Yahweh, speak to you now. We need to be comforted. Sing to us. Will you please sing to us? Soko soko yana nakata. Ah, yana nakata. Will you please weep for us? Soko soko yana nakata. Do you know that they call the holy scriptures now? So yana nakata. Nothing but fairy tales. Do you know how many in this world, so koyana nakata, no koyana have turned away, so nakata, even from believing in this holy book called the Bible, so koso koyana nakata, the Tanakh, so koso koyana nakata. They laugh at my Torah laws, so koso koyana nakata. So those that apply for today, for remember, so koso koyana nakata. Those who truly are my children understand what what applies to now but the Ten Commandments you cannot escape for you are to love the Lord thy God above all else, and that means a holy trinity I do not just speak to the Father I Yahweh Koyana Nakata, but speak to Yahushua Sunanakata, who paid the price at Calvary, so Koyana Nakata, and speak to Himaya, so Koyana Nakata, the sweet Holy Spirit that waits for you, so Koso Koyana Nakata, that I announce before the world, so Koso Koyana Nakata, who she is, so Koyana Nakata, she is wisdom, so Koso Koyana Nakata. Ayana nakata mokotora na ayana nakata arani nakata ayana now I tell you another secret so nakata that I told Elishava long ago so koyana nakata every day she awoke so koyana nakata and remember this ministry has been online for over twenty two years but she started long before that so so koyana nakata. To ask me, Sokoyana, what is it you want me to, to know today, Sokoyana Kata? And I gave her these instructions I now pass on to you, if you so choose to do, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. There will be a blessing in it. And again, I do not speak to the heathen. I speak to those who truly know me and know my son and know who the Holy Spirit is, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. For the others, so course, you will not understand. So koyana nakata makela kata. You take that Bible, so koyana kata, one with a soft binder, so so koyana nakata, that can open up, so so koyana nakata, and you pray over that Bible, so so koyana nakata, makoyana nakata. You pray protection, so nakata. You re rebuke Satan, so koyana nakata, and you make sure no sin is within, so nakata, that you have asked forgiveness, so koyana nakata, of any sin, so koyana nakata. And you do this after communion, Sokosona Nakata. These are new instructions I give on Shavuot, 
so in 2017, for I love to teach you new, even though for Elisheva it is old, and you say, Abba Yahweh, so in I come to you, so in with praise, so and love, so in and thanksgiving, so in Thank you for your son, Yahushua, so in to be my Lord God and Savior, so in for thus saith the word, Submit yourself, to the Lord Yahushua, and resist the devil, so and he must flee. So therefore, I quote the scripture to thee, for your word cannot return unto you void, And I ask of you, use this word now. Speak to me. Open this Bible. As I right now plead the blood of Yahushua over it, you can even anoint it, the cover, and ask me, in the name of Yahushua, sweet Holy Spirit, where do you want me to read today? What do you want to speak to me today? And watch. As you hold it in your hand closed, see if I will not open it, see if I will not have the sweet hands of the Ruach HaKadosh open it, it must have a soft binder, but look and see how it will just open ever so slowly, and a word will be seen by your eye. And when your, where your eye hits is what I want you to read. Perhaps it will be the same entire chapter. Perhaps it will only be a sentence. Perhaps you just seek one word. I want to speak to you. So I want you to read my word. I want you to see it's alive. I want it to be heard. What is it, Abba Yah, you have to say to me today? In the name of you, Shua HaMashiach, I pray. Watch and see what I will do. Like for right now, I keep telling Elisheva and Ezra something they do not yet understand. But I give the explanations. If not right away, keep pondering on it until you get the message. I want you to know. And I have given them first Ezekiel, verse 17. And I've even told them to turn the page. I want them to know a certain word. And I'm only saying this now. So they will be reminded. But you too can look. I just want you to start the day. Without any excuses. Of hearing my words. Even if it be on your cell phone. Read my words. Ask me, Sukhanakata, what book do you want me to read today, Sukhanakata? Whether it be in the old or the new, so that really is one, Sukhanakata. Ask me, Sukhanakata, for it will be something I want you to know that you need to know at the stage of the life you're in, Sukhanakata. Parinakata. So to the heathen, this will not work. This is not like a, a a psychic prediction. I speak these words to the holy now. I want to give you more if you can take it. And I want to show you so my word is alive. And as for the prophecies, Read a prophecy a day, You ask me which prophecy, 
I promise to bless you and show you, Sokoyana Nakata. My words are alive, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. The letter killeth and the spirit giveth life, Soko Soana Nakata. The Holy Spirit will give life, Soko Nakata. And no matter how many times you read the prophecy, Soko Nakata, you will see, just like that Bible, Soko Sokoyana Nakata, the words are alive and you will read words and you will see a sentence that you had not understood or comprehended before. It will be like it leaps right off the pages and it will be words that you need to know, Soko Sokoyana, at that stage of your life. Soko Soko. This is what I want to teach you on Shavuot, Sokoyana Nakata, on the celebration, Sokoyana Nakata, Soko Soko Yana Nakata Makela Kata, a celebration, Soko Yana Nakata. Oh, Karahatikonika, so many thousands were saved, Soko Nakata, as the sweet Holy Spirit fell on so many at the same time and they spoke in new tongues, Soko Nakata. It was not only tongues of men, Soko Nakata, of languages that they did not know, Soko Nakata, but is the tongues of angels soko soko yana nakata and the devil cannot comprehend nor understand soko soko yana nakata even the words that's being spoken now soko soko yana nakata so i desire for you to learn these lessons now soko soko yana nakata my words are a lamp unto your feet soko soko yana nakata and let me guide you by my words, Sokoyana Nakata. They are footsteps, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. For even in the darkest of the darkest hours, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. Meditate on Psalm 91, Soko Sokoyana Nakata Maki. The answers are there even for the Jews that they will but comprehend, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. The name of Yahushua is there. Teaching of salvation, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. Teaching the sacred names, those who call out, In my name, Jews hear me, Soko Sokoyana Nakata, Makela Kata. What child doesn't know the Father's name, Soko Sokoyana Nakata? Satan has deceived you, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. He does not want you to speak my name for. In my name, Sonanakata, and in the name of Yahushua, my son, Sonanakata, that was crucified at Calvary, Soko Sonanakata, and raised again from the dead so you could be set free, Sonanakata. Anakata Mokoto, Anakata, Anakata. Oh, my darling ones, listen to me, Soko Soko Yananakata. The book is not fairy tales, Soko Soko Yananakata. And when I say the book, I speak of the Holy Scriptures, the Bible, Soko Soko Yananakata. Even some of the lost books, but some are counterfeit, so beware, Soko Yananakata. Satan always counterfeits the genuine, Soko Yananakata, Yananakata. And when you pray together, Soko Soko Yananakata, and when you pray alone, Sonanakata, ask me, Soko, in the name of Yahushua, Daddy Ya, Abba Ya, what is it you have to say to me? Just even if you do it one time a day, but whenever you need a word from me, when you need a word of comfort, I gave this book, and those who say, oh, it was only written by men, will be the same one who'll say, oh, this is just a word coming from a woman. But it's so, so much more. Remember, it'll be the text that your eyes will fall upon. And perhaps you'll have to turn a page to put the context in it. Remember the context of the verses that you read must apply. Soko soko yana nakata makela kata orani yana kata nani yana kata nana koto ana nakata arana naka yana nakata nana koto o yana kata makela kata nana yana kata. We are the Holy Trinity. Soko yana nakata. Let no one tell you that we are not. Soko soko yana nakata nana nakata. And as you bow down before I Yahweh, ko yana nakata. You bow down before Yahushua and Imaya, 
the sweet Ruach HaGadash, Soko Soko Yananakata. And we will lift you up and we will tell you this, You are but children in our eyes, Soko Soko Yananakata. You cannot come to heaven in any other way, Soko Soko Yananakata. No matter how much education you think you have, Soko Soko Yananakata. When you come to heaven, it will be cast away, Soko Soko Yananakata. And only the words that I have spoken will apply, Soko Soko Yananakata. The words that Yahushua spoke, Soko Soko Yananakata. Ayananakata nanakoto nanakata. Ayananakata nanakata. Oyakilakata makilakata. Oko yanakata. Listen to Imaya. Listen to the sweet Holy Spirit. The words of wisdom, Sukunakata, Yenakata, who King James Version Bible calls the she, Sukosukoyanakata. Listen to the words so we can speak, Sukosukoyanakata. And as you listen, do not just listen, read it aloud, Sukoyanakata. Do not just read it to yourself. Let the words flow forth from your lips, Sukoyanakata. And do your best and strive to obey, so in anakata, and learn, so anakata, the instructions, so so that I have given you, must must be obeyed, so so in anakata. You who are the bride of Yahushua, you already know who you are, so so in anakata, for you treasure these words, you treasure the shavuot, you know that you could not have been saved without. Not only the name and the blood of Yahushua, but the Comforter had to come, the sweet Holy Spirit. So in Anaka, I will not let you down. I told you this. So we treasure you. So in do you know that we treasure each one of our children differently? Do you know this? So we know our children, so we know where you are weak. We know where you are strong. So the Imaya, the sweet Ruach Kadesh, the Holy Spirit, when you truly are saved, lives within you. How could she not know? So and it depends on how much you've done. So what have you done for Yoshua? So how many souls have you brought to Yahushua? Even if you've just told one, Soko Soko Yananakata, do you know that Yahushua Soko Yananakata gives you as a gift to me, Soko Yananakata, and says, Father, see, I'm not going to miss one whose name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life, no matter what must be done, even though I must bring them to their lowest. Even though they think their life has been destroyed, I will have them look up and I will re have them repent and ask forgiveness and accept me, the blood atonement, and I will tell them to obey and I will tell them I forgive them. And then I will present them as a gift to you. And then it's up to them, so in Anakata, whether they continue to walk holy and listen to the words that I speak. And the words are in the Holy Scriptures. So, Sukoyan so, Anakata. It is their choice, and it's already been preordained. As Roman 8 clearly says, Soko Sukoyan Anakata. And then I say, here I bring you another, Soko Soko Yananakata. And I bring another, Soko Yananakata. But how do I do this? I use you, my children. I use you, like this little one speaking now, Soko I use my prophets. I use you, even those who are not prophets, Soko Soko Yananakata. You don't need to be a prophet to bring a soul to heaven. Just speak the truth that's in the Holy Scriptures. Just tell them they must obey the Holy Scriptures and tell them when they fall, for none are perfect. Soko Soko Yananakata. Even the prophet speaking needs a Messiah. Soko Soko Yananakata. Oranyanakata Maki. For none are perfect. Soko Soko Yananakata. But keeping the Ten Commandments, Soko Yananakata. 
is the first baby steps you must take. Then you go on to the Torah that applies for today. You see, Yahushua is God also. Remember, we are one. Remember how many times he said, I cannot do anything I have not seen. My father did. And does. I cannot speak anything he does not speak and has spoken. So nakata. Aranakata. For Yahushua so cannot lie. So Koyanakata. I Yahweh cannot lie. And the sweet Holy Spirit cannot lie. So remember this, my darling children. Oh so children, oh children, oh children, oh children. So Kosokoyananakata. You are in the end of the end days. So Kosokoyananakata. But in now it it is no longer minutes away. You are seconds away in my time. And I give you these new instructions. You do not miss doing the communion. It is a reminder of the price you shall have paid at Calvary. But remember, you must repent of your sins first. You must repent and you must be living a life of holiness. Otherwise, my children, you are drinking the cup of damnation. Remember this, my children. Ask forgiveness before you take that communion wafer, a piece of bread, whatever you have, to represent the bread that is the flesh, Sukoyanakata. That was Yehoshua Sunanakata. That was hung on that cross and the blood, Sukoyanakata. It is a atonement for your sin, Sukoyanakata. He paid the price, Sukoyanakata. One drop, Sukoyanakata, is all it would have took to cleanse this world of the sins that now is within, Sukoyanakata. If they would but receive, so you take that grape juice, so you take whatever you have, you go and you read the instructions for communion. It is never the same, Would you speak the same words of love to a loved one, your spouse, Speak to Yahushua, as if he were your spouse, Sukhanakata. For he is to be the love of your life, as I am the love of your life, as the Holy Spirit is the love of your life. No one must ever come before. You must always remember. Do not love the gifts that I have given you more than the giver of life. I, the Creator, so in Yeshua. Your Messiah, Soko Soko Yananakata, and the sweet rock of Kadesh, Soko Yananakata. My children, Sanakata, your spouses, so Soko Yananakata, must always come second, Soko Yanakata. Oh, my children, my children, my children, so Nakata. My children, my babies, my bride, my elect, and Nakata. All of you are being tested, so in Nakata, and you have been sorely tested, so Nakata. But for those of you who are doing your best to live in holiness, so Nakata, and leaving the rest at the cross at Calvary, and asking Yahushua, oh, set me free and forgive me, so Nakata, Nakata, you are forgiven, so Nakata. But beware of the churches that now stand, Sukhananakata. For many of them say, Sukhananakata. Yea, I say the majority will tell you, Sukhananakata. Don't worry about sinning anymore, Sukhananakata. You cannot put Sukhananakata and the religions together, Sukhananakata. Inakata. Did not Yahushua say before he left, Sukhosokoyananakata, as the word says, the Holy Scripture, the Bible, Sukhoyanakata, my desire for you is to be one, Sukhoyananakata, Ayananakata Mokoto, 
Orana Mokoto Yana Nakata Yana Nakata Ayanaka that is not a Muslim Soko Soko Yana Nakata Soko Yana Nakata Onaka for they do not receive Yahushua as Messiah Soko Soko Yana Nakata they have their own prophet Muhammad Soko Soko Yana Nakata Yanaka and that will not get you into heaven Soko Sanakata so what Trump has done, Soko Soko Yanakata, when even the Pope, Soko Yanakata, claims he is God, Soko Soko Yananakata, Ayananakata, I will tell you in secret in another time what is going on, Sonanakata, for the Trump that Elisheva prophesied of, Sonanakata, there is Sonanakoto Anakata, Yananakata, Nanakoto, Soko Soko Yananakata, more than one sokoso ananakata and clones are real soko and doubles are real soko soko yananakata parayanakata so i will explain more on this at another time soko soko yananakata maki you cannot mix Catholicism, Soko Yananakata, what the Pope now preaches now, So Nanakata, and say, So Nanakata, Orani Yanakata, Yanakata, as he carries a twisted cross that mocks Yoshua, Soko Soko Yananakata, Ayananakata, Nanakata, and proclaims himself as God, Soko Soko Yananakata, that he has anything to do, Soko Yananakata, with Yahushua, Sokoso Ananakata, Anakata, with anything to do with the Holy Scriptures, Sokoso Ananakata. For sin is sin and it has not changed, no matter the so called modern times that you think that you're in, Sokosoko Yananakata. Remember the trials of your faith is more precious than gold. You who suffer much, Sokoyananakata, and you wonder why, Sokosoko Yananakata, when you belong to me and you live holy before me and you worship Yahushua and his name is continually on your lips and you continually are praying and you bring souls to me and you work so hard for me and yet you suffer so much. Remember this, the trials of your faith is more precious than gold. Remember Job, Soko Soko Yananakata. Read the book of Job, Soko Soko Yananakata. Remember many are the afflictions of the righteous. I did not say few. I said many are the afflictions of the righteous. But I, the Lord thy God, Yahweh, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, will deliver you from each one. If it is not here on earth, it's going to be in heaven. Soko soko yananakata moenakata. And soenakata yananakata yananakata. And elashava soenakata. And now I speak to you, my beloved Israeli prophet Ezra, son of my apostle, soenakata. As both you are, soenakata. And I speak to both of you who are the ring maiden and the ring bearer, Sokoyanakata. Now that the counterfeit is gone, Soko Sokoyanakata, Ayanakata. Now I tell you this, Sokoyana, anyone who tries to rip your relationship of husband and wife apart, Soko Soyanakata, the more I shall pour my vengeance down sonanakata and it shall come straight from heaven soko soko yananakata and i shall take the lives soko yananakata not only of them soko so in an, in an agonizing way soko yananakata the time they least expect sonanakata but i will take anything of value including their jobs soko so yananakata I mean anything and anyone, including their children, Soko Soko Yananakata. For anyone who tries to destroy, Soko Yananakata. This holy ministry, Soko Soko Yananakata, that does not belong to any woman or man, Soko Yananakata, but truly is birthed from heaven, Soko Soko Yananakata. And anyone who tries to rip and tear apart, Soko Soko Yananakata, the holy prophecy, Soko Soko Yananakata, that does not come from any woman or man. I only use this woman, Soko Soko Yananakata, as a holy vessel, a messenger that I can trust, Sonanakata, as I use this holy man. This is what a prophet does, Sonanakata. They tell the secrets, Sonanakata, Renakata. 
Sokoyananakata. So you will not be surprised, Soko Sokoyananakata, where others will not open their eyes, Soko Sokoyananakata. You will not find everything in the holy book, Sokoyananakata, called the Bible, for there are other books, such as I said, Soko Sokoyananakata, and that is a book of Enoch, Soko Sokoyananakata. Or and there are other books mentioned, Sokoyananakata. Even in the scriptures of the Bible, Sukoyananakata, the book of Jasher, you were told to study and read, Sukoyananakata. How many even know this, Sukosokoyananakata, Aranyanakata, and the book of Enoch, Sukosokoyananakata, Aran, I warn you, Sukoyananakata, you had better not touch this anointed one, Sukosokoyananakata. You had better not touch my anointed sons and daughters. It is better you cover your mouth, Sokosokoyananakata. You will know a false prophet. They will not lead you to heaven. They will not tell you to repent. They will not tell you to rebuke the devil, Sokosokoyananakata. They will not teach you how, Sokoyananakata. They will not foretell, Sokosokoyananakata, what is to come, Sokosokoyananakata. They will just use the news that anyone can use, Sokosokoyananakata. I say this again, Sokoyananaka, do not touch Sokoya this ministry, Sokoyanakata, for it plainly and humbly says, and Elisheva is not even allowed in a video, Sokosoyananakata, so you do not think Sokoyananakata, Renakata, Renakata, Sokosokoyananakata, Renakata. Or, no, or look at her as if she is God just because she speaks forth God's words. She is merely saved by the blood, the same blood that you are. And I have set her and Ezra apart to do the mission and the jobs that I have ordained and I have appointed them to do. As I have appointed you to do, but you must be the one who seeks me to find out why was I born on this earth? How can I help you? So how can I comfort you? What is it you want me to say? So what is it you want me to do? Do not expect this prophet to have the answer for you. So Hanakata. At times I will tell her, Sokoyananakata, but they cannot reply to thousands upon thousands of emails, Sokoyanakata. They cannot reply to thousands upon thousands, yea, I would even say millions, Sokoyanakata, of letters, of phone calls and communications. So they cannot even speak your language. They must rely on others to translate the languages, Sokoyanakata, Renanakata, Nanokoto, Oranianakata. O enemies, Sonakata. You reprobates, Sonakata. You are the ones son, that I hate, Sokosonanakata. And you say, oh, but you should not hate us, Sokosonanakata. But did not David say, should I not hate those that hate you? Yes, I should hate them with a perfect hatred. What is a perfect hatred? It is those who I call reprobate. Jeremiah 6. Soko soko, read it. Soko soko yananakata, orana yananakata, the onakata. The story of the five wise virgins. Read it. So now, there's only five wise virgins, and I don't literally mean the number five. Soko soko yananakata. I mean those who truly obey, Soko Soko Yananakata. And there are the prayer intercessors called Yushua's demon stompers that I sent the holy angels to her personally, Soko with her own eyes. So Nanakata Bakilakata, I don't know, she saw the wings, so Soko Yananakata. She felt the feathers, so she heard the words, so Nanakata. And I gave that name and will be unto anyone, Soko who was a part of this prayer intercessory group that I trusted so then yet I knew just like Judas it could only be for so long so then Nakata, and they betrayed them so Nakata, as they could not take the standard of living in the holiness so Nakata, Nakata, Nakata. look upon this so Nakata, 
Ayananakata, and I have told them this secret, Soko Soko Yananakata, when Moshe Moses went to the top of Mount Sinai for the Ten Commandments, the Ten Laws, Soko Soko Yananakata, that I, Yahweh, wrote with my fiery finger, and I meditated so with him, so Nanakata, as I taught him so much, so Nanakata, Ayanakata. I listened to him speak, and I listened to his questions, and they were many, so Nanakata. And he spoke to me, and he asked me questions, what they were many, so Nanakata. Oh, but the children of Israel that I had brought forth out of the slavery of Egypt, so Nanakata. Ora Nanakata. They could not wait for him to return, Sokoyananakata. And they asked Aaron, where is he, Sokoyananakata? He's not coming back, so we're going to go make our own gods, Sokoyananakata. And they took the gold and the silver, and they took the jewels and the gems, Sokoyananakata. And they made a golden calf to worship it, Sokoyananakata. And they fell before it, Sokoyananakata. And they worshipped something they could see, Sokoyananakata. And all kinds of debauchery was done, Sokoyananakata. From homosexuality, soko soko yananakata, to fornication, soko soko yananakata, to all the sins I need not name, soko yananakata, to where when Moses came down, this is what he saw, soko yananakata, and Ezra and Elisheva, soko yananakata, you have wondered why, soko yananakata, there are those who joined the YDS, soko soko yananakata, Yahushua's demon stompers, prayer intercessors, soko Sokoyananakata, who came and actually lived with you, Sokoyananakata, but could not take the standard of holiness, Soko Sokoyanakata, that is required to be the bride of Yahushua, the five wise virgins, Soko Sokoyanakata. But now you understand, as I gave a private word to you today, and I told you no longer cry and grieve when they leave you, Soko Sokoyanakata, and they turn into an enemy, Sokoyanakata. Or they just walk away quietly, soko soko yananakata, pareyanakata. Now you are to look upon them and no longer grieve, soko soko yananakata. And you are to remember, so yananakata, they turned away, soko soko from what I taught, soko soko yananakata, pareyanakata. For all of them knew the prophecies were true, soko yananakata, siyanakata. Even those who walked away, soko soko yananakata, and someone who was once called a leader, so before Ezra, soko yananakata, told you one day, soko soko yananakata, on your fourteenth anniversary day, soko yananakata, and you know that it has been over seven years, soko soko yananakata, bakelakata. He refused. He Sokoyananakata, to do what I told him to do. He was never a leader. There's never been a leader to this ministry but one, and that's until Ezra came, Soko Sokoyananakata. Now there's a male leader. Before it was only you. Before it was only you, Elisheva. There never was another leader except one, and it was you, Elisheva, that heard my instructions from heaven. And did obey, Sokoyanakata. But now I bring Judah and Ephraim together, and I want you to celebrate that on Shavuot, Sokoyanakata. I bring you an Israeli prophet, Sokoyanakata, Ezra, Sokoyanakata. And this ministry has gone a different way, Sokoyanakata. As I teach you more the Jewish ways, Sokoyanakata, as Judah and Ephraim have been married together, Sokoyanakata. Paranyanakata, Oyananakata Maki, Ayananakata Mokoto, or neither of them will ever teach you to sin, Sokosoko Yananakata. If they ever teach you to sin, then that's when you are to run away, Sokoyananakata. They will never tell you to look at any other God than the Holy Trinity, Sokosoko Yananakata. They will never teach you. To turn away from the Holy Scriptures, and tell you there's another Messiah, 
for I have anointed them to only tell you the truth. So again I say, War has been decreed from heaven, from Ayahaveh, for all of those who have written their words that on this internet, Sonanakata, have stayed and full of lies and slander. So you are reprobate in my eyes. So you shall hang where the fallen angels hang. And that which Enoch calls the third heaven. So but you know it as hell. So and your suffering, your torture shall even be greater than the fallen angels. For you who have done this, you never would repent, even though you know I speak the truth through her. You made a deal with the devil, and you refused to get out of it, and you will pay a price. For every tear that has been shed, that when you have hurt this leadership, so and those who will minister along her side, for every time you slandered and you libeled their names, for every tear that was shed, I multiply it now a million times, as once again I wait, and I tell them do not release this word until Shavuot day. You who mock the holy tongue, I will show you how I mock you, as everything is taken away, for all you reprobate, and all of you who refuse to repent, listen to this, go read Deuteronomy 28, the curses of Ayahaveh, for you will reap each and every one, and all of you who strive to obey, and worship Yahushua and Ayahaveh and Imaya, the sweet Ruach HaKadash, the Holy Spirit, read Deuteronomy 28, the blessings that I have reserved, for you who strive to obey, so in the nakat, every word I say, why would I say, be ye holy as I am holy, if there was no such thing as holiness? It's because I put the Ruach HaKadosh within you, so you know right from wrong, and you know when you're sinning and when you're not. So kosoko yananakata, makilakata, oranyanakata, oranyanakata, baki, do not assume that you sin each day. For when I say all have sinned and fell short of the glory of Yah, it just means sometime in your life you had done this before you gave your life to Yahushua. But no one, no one, no one who truly belongs to Yahushua will premeditate sin, will already ahead plan to see how far they can lean over hell before they fall in. These are the words of comfort I have for you. As you take the time to comfort me, weep for us, the Holy Trinity. You see, we didn't want, and hell was not built, for humanity. We did not want you to sin, Sokoyananakata. We didn't want you to rebel in heaven, Sokoyananakata. You already worked out the decision, Sokoyananakata, whose side you would fight on, whether it would be Ayave or Lucifer, Sokoyananakata, Parayanakata. And now you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for your soul already knows where it will go. But no one is reprobate, Sokoyananakata. If they still desire, and even hear these words now and know they are truth, just repent, ask forgiveness of Yahushua, ask for a new beginning, and that your sins will be as far away as the east is from the west, for there is one sin that can never be forgiven, and that is blasphemy. But remember, when you call that which is good evil, 
you are also in great danger of your soul. Soko soko yananaka. For you have not insulted that person. You have insulted Ayave Yushua and Imaya Soko soko yananakata. There is different definitions of the word blasphemy. So you repent while there is yet a chance. Soko soko yananakata makila kata. Comfort us, so in anakata, anakata. How do you think we feel, so in anakata, knowing that one who says they love us from the start, so in anakata, receive the ministry, receive the prophecies in love, thank them for leading them to Yahushua, soko soko yananakata. How many emails come, so in anakata, and how many times it's been said, thank you. Thank you for leading us and teaching us in the Nakata that abortion is a sin, homosexuality is a sin, for your churches will not preach what holiness is anymore. And then you fall away, Sonanakata, and you don't even fall quickly, Sonanakata. You fall slowly as rebellion. So in an, and your own desire to live your life keeps within. So koyananakata, and one day you open your eyes. So nanakata, and you realize. So koso nanakata, nanakata makela kata, nanakata. You fell from grace. So you fell from mercy. So koyananakata. Now that's all left is reprobate. So koso koyananakata. You are held accountable for what you know. So koso koyananakata. So I've given instructions to Elisheva and to Ezra. So koyananakata. Elisheva is not to shed another tear for another one that she calls a child. So koso koyananakata. For you see, and I speak to all those around the world now. You are not just a congregation to them when you accept the truth of this ministry and the prophecies. They are told to call you children. And they pray for you as children. And Elisheva has been given a heart of Imeya. And my Ezra. He is like a Moshe of new, and she is as a Eliyahu of new. So beware when you offend them. But know when you send blessings. Even if they can't write you back, or call you, they can only do this when I tell them to. They do read these blessings, and they send. Those same blessings back to you, soko soko yananakata, aranyanakata, and you should demon stompers the true faithful ones, sananakata. Elisheva and Ezra do not even know all your names, so you're spread all over the world, and there's five hundred thousand that are gathered on a wall. So it's a spiritual wall, for this ministry is a temple without walls, for it encompasses the world. In Sokoyana Nakata and Nakata, and now over 45 languages that they know of, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. But it has been spread by word of mouth, Soko Sokoyana Nakata. And even when they speak in tongues for the holy ones, so they do not even know they lift these two names up, Soko Sokoyana Nakata, Oreyana Nakata. And I tell you, so listen, 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 Sokoyana Nakata. Listen and ask me who they are, Sokoyana Nakata. And to the Holy One, Sokoyana Nakata, I will tell you the truth, Sokoyana Nakata. And you will be pleased, Sokoyana, when they send a blessing back to you. These are the words of comfort I have for you. When I weep, so in a, when we weep, the Holy Trinity. And we do weep for each one that falls, even though we know you're going to fall and never rise again. Sokoyanakata. And hell will be your home. Sokoyanakata. We still created you. Sokoyanakata. And as a baby, we loved you. Sokoyanakata. Until the time you turn reprobate. Sokoyanakata. Paranayanakata. And for the guests. Remember all are blessed who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. The bride is only 288,000 and we are weeding them out. 
And it all has to do with, with obedience. Soko, soko, will you obey? Soko, yananakata. Or will you turn away? Will you only be lukewarm? Soko, soko, yananakata. And still think you're going to get into heaven? Soko, soko, yana. Remember again the parable of the five wise virgins. Soko, so, yananakata. Remember, there was also the foolish there. Soko, yananakata. But there's one more group that seldom are mentioned and those who beat on the door of the bridegroom after Yahushua went into the chamber and he locked the door and they beat on the door and they said let us in just like they did at Noah's Ark and he said go away you workers of iniquity for I never knew you, soko soko yananakata. Make sure you really know, soko yananakata, who God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, that all three are one. Make sure who you really know, although we're separate, we still always are agree and always are one, soko yananakata. And these are the reprobates that beat on that door. These are the ones there is no forgiveness for. Oh, grieve for us, weep for us, comfort us. I give you a beautiful world, now the skies are poisoned, the water is poisoned, the food is poisoned. You must pray over everything, take nothing for granted. Even the very clothes you wear, you know not chemicals have been placed there to kill you. Now the rulers of this evil world, of Satan, when Adam fell, this world fell into the hand of Satan, in the satanic elite, the Illuminati rose up, and now all they say, Sonanakata, we must kill Soko Soko Yananakata Makelakata. There is too great of a population, Soko Soko Yananakata, Parenanakata. And so they poison the skies and it's called chemtrails, Soko Soko Yanakata. And its mental plagues will walk in. That's why I told you to memorize Psalm 91. As I told Allah Sheva, so in 2001, repeat it so each day, claim it, stand on it. And also Psalm 23, hang on to it, don't let go. And the more you find ways to comfort us, as we see what they've done to this earth, as we see what Monsanto has done, as we see now they even make jewelry of the aborted fetus. And you know it not. You think you're putting face cream on to restore your youth. You know it not. And there is a blood of DNA. Oh, my children, my children, my children. There's only two ways out of this world. You better get on your knees now, Sonanakata, before it's too late. I tell you this, Sonanakata, now salvation is free, Sonanakata. But if you are not of the bride of the 288,000, Revelation 7 and Revelation 14 and Revelation 14, I tell you this, you are to go before Revelation 7. And there is another secret that I will not reveal now that Ella, Sheva and Ezra and the Yahushua's demon stompers know. There is one thing more that must happen. And I speak not of the things of this world. I speak of a he heavenly revelation, a gift I've given to Ezra and Elisheva, soko soko yananakata, but they still are Revelation 14, soko so yananakata. To the others I say, if you cannot do it now when it is free, how will you do it in the great tribulation, soko soko yananakata? How will you 
accept me in the great tribulation, my son Yahushua in the great tribulation, when you were told all religions are to be one, when it's already been, de a president has already signed it in an executive order, soko soko yananakata, that which I not want it done, and soko soko yananakata, for all religions, soko yananakata, and those who serve other gods, soko soko yananakata, do not serve Ayave Yahushua Nimaya Soko Soko Yananakata. Never can all religions join together and expect to be found in heaven. Soko Soko Yananakata. If they do not repent and turn away from the false gods, they have done nothing more than built a golden calf, just as is in as in the time of Moses Moshe on Mount Sinai. That I have just told the story of. We need to be comforted. We need to be known that we are loved. We need to hear that we are treasured. We need to know that you care. When the aborted babies are just discarded as garbage and their organs are sold and they are torn out even while they are alive. Don't you think we cry? So nanakata, wanakata, when a satanic so koyananak ritual abuse so nanakata and torture so nanakata, and the sodomizing of even newborns so is done so nanakata bakila kata. Is there anything more beautiful than a newborn or a child? Yet you stand there quiet and do nothing. You're afraid to even join a march to protest and say, we are to protect our children. We are not to kill our children. How many of you are there at these marches? As these men so are not afraid so to lay their life down or even be jailed. You are cowards in my eyes. And at the throne of judgment, you will know and you will hear what I have to say. As I tell you, depart from me ye workers of iniquity for you never even cared when you heard of these atrocities that I called a pedophile do you do not know you do not understand you think you can get away with just denying the truth but you're not going to after reading this no you're not going to after reading this for you're going to be held accountable for what you know what do you do to support them how do you do to, what do you do to encourage those who will lay their life down to say abortion is wrong abortion is sin abortion is murder you cannot fornicate with children and think that I, the Creator Yahweh, have blinded my eyes and deafened my ears, or shut my mouth, to the cries and the screams of the little innocent ones. Oh, you will see, so that on this earth you think you're free, so to do these atrocities, and I speak to you, call yourself a father, so you are no father, you are biological sperm that was made to join with that egg to make a child, so but you are no father, you would harm a child, and you satanic elites, who think this is fun, for you've had all the fame and the riches, and you've done every sin that can be done, so you can say you turn yourself even more to Satan, and you say, what more can I do to serve you? So even when he tells you to rip a child apart in two, with your bare hands, you will try to rip them 
their arms off, so so koyan. You will break their fingers off, so so. You will drink their blood, so koyan. You will smear it on the face, and they will call it face cream, so so in anakata. You don't know what's in that cream. You don't know what's in that lipstick. You don't know what they have done. Only the satanic elite, as they laugh at you, even these who think that they have spoken against the atrocities, you must truly pray over everything you use on this earth. You do not know what's in the skies that's already been hidden from your eyes. All you can see is the streaks of white, but you don't know what's coming down. I will tell you what's coming down, but it will not yet be on this Shavuot. Not at yet this time. I will tell you this. It's not on this day in this prophecy, but it's coming up. And even this prophet is going to take a chance, for she knows who is in control of the Internet. Children, those who I call my children, take my words seriously. You who have done these ritual abuse, satanic sacrifices of children and fornication and sodomizing, you will hang on the level of hell. Just as the book of Enoch says, with the fallen angels and they who thought they were so great and mighty and once they were and now as it says in the book of Enoch, they scream in torture. This is where you will go. So you think you've got away with murder? And you know who I speak of, old politicians. You're in the Congress, you're in the Senate, you're in the judicial system. You've even been presidents. And I speak to the USA now, and yet I do not stop there. I speak to the UK, I speak to every nation around this world. You know and the people will know who they are. I try to keep the tongue shorter now, so you do not lose interest, as I build the boldness up in my child, this prophet, this apostle, my ring maiden, but I want to speak plainly. So in Anakata, even to those who call yourself the bride of Yahushua, you better just pray that you're counted worthy to be called the bride of Yahushua, until you really reach heaven, for there's many traps that Satan has set, and how many have already fallen into it. So comfort us. Ask us, what can we do for you, O Heavenly Father? Do you know this? The word says this, and that is the Bible, that the very rock shall cry out, and they will praise me when you don't praise me. Do you know this? I tell you a secret. When Yahushua comes in all of his glory, so in anakata makelakata, and I speak not of the first coming, so koyan anakata, in anakata, anakata mokoyan anakata. I speak not of that when it's the time of the catching up, so so koyan anakata, and I speak of when. All the world is going to know, and the reprobates have cried out. They will cry to the very mountains that fall on them and hide them from He, I, Yahweh, who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, who is Yahushua. You see, only one time was Yahushua crucified. Only one time did he say, Father, forgive them, for they know it not. Only one time, unless you repent, will he ask for your forgiveness. So, 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 I tell you this secret, there's going to be a symphony, there's going to be the most beautiful music that all the world will hear, and this is what my heavenly ones, you holy ones who listen now, 
washed in the shed blood of Yahushua, who pray in the name of Yahushua, who live for the name of Yahushua, who have laid your lone lives down and said, live your life through me. Not my desires be done, but your desires be done. Not my words be spoken, but your words be spoken. I speak to you a secret for, for Ezra, my beloved Ezra, you come to me as a child and you delight me so as you say. And I ask you this, to these lips of clay of Elisheva, and I say, Ezra, do you want to know a secret? And oh, how much delight I take in you. How much Imaya laughs and smiles. How Yahushua smiles with a big twinkle in his eye. As you say, yes, yes, tell us a secret. There shall be a symphony, and it shall be what all the creation waits for. For they groan and they wail now, and you know it not. As extinction, extinction comes of that what you used to be on this earth and is no more, but will be once again. And the creation will, and the manifestations, it shall be there, the manifestations of the sons of Yah. And that includes the daughters. They shall help bring all this about. And they, for they cry out and they say, all of creation cries out and they wait and they say, and I speak again of the creatures of this earth. They wait and they wait and they wait. as just as the rest of the bride wait for the manifestations of the sons of Yah. And they wait, and I tell you this, you are going to hear this symphony that's going to be every creation that's going to sing to me. They are going to sing just like the birds sing songs of praise to me each morning, even though the so-called poison trails that they call chemtrails, that's meant to kill you, and yet I will confound the scientist and those who truly belong to me and stand on Psalm 91, they are, it is not going to affect them as quickly as it would affect anyone else. I will protect you. I will protect you if you remember to pray, plead the blood of Yahushua when you go out. But I tell you this, listen to me now. Can you picture the lion roaring? Can you picture the tiger? Can you picture not only the birds singing, but can you picture the frogs croaking? Can you picture the crickets singing? Do you know every animal once had a voice? All the voices of the animals and all the voices of the crickets that were, all the voices of even, even the bumblebee, they shall sing a song to me, just as in the Garden of Eden before it fell. I tell you this, Adam was able, as he named them, he spoke to each one of them, and they spoke back, and the voices shall return once again. Doesn't that excite you, O oh beloved ones? Don't you want to hear this? Don't you want to know more secrets? Then just obey me, for these are just little secrets I give unto you. I could not just put everything in one book. There are so many books, and these prophecies and these revelations that you are hearing now, just think of it. Just think of it, my children. You cannot even begin to comprehend what I have waiting for you, for all of you who have suffered and persecuted because my son Yahushua's name's sake. Oh, my little ones. Oh, my little ones. Oh, my little ones, how much I love you, not only my bride, but you who will be called the guests at the wedding supper of the Lamb. Do you not know how much I love you? Do you not understand? I want you to hold you. I want you to sit on my lap. Oh, my darling ones, hear me. Hear me today. Oh, hear me today. We need you to comfort us. We need you to sing to us. We need you to treasure and love us. Not only ask of us, ask of us prayers needed, 
but ask of us, what do you want for me today to do for you? How can I be pleasing to you? Do you know how much that would bless us? you have any idea how that would bless us? Do you know why I created you? Do you know it was for fellowship? Do you understand? I put a bunch of mud together. I took a rib out of a man and I formed it into a woman. You wonder, how did the hair get there anyway? This is what Ella Sheva, you laugh and you say. And then you turn to Ezra and you say, well, honey, I guess it's just the same way you got your hair. And Ezra, you answered the question. The book of the secret of Enoch, chapter 30, verse 10. And on the sixth day, I commended my wisdom to create men from seven consistencies. One, his flesh from the earth. Two, his blood from the dew. Three, his eyes from the sun. Four, his bones from the stone. Five, his intelligence from the swiftness of the angels and from clouds. Six, his vein and his air from the grass of the earth. And the seventh, his soul from my breath and from the spirit. And that is of the book? The book of the secret of Enoch. And darling, what page is that on? It's chapter 30, verse 10. And please don't go looking for it anywhere else. There, it's right here on this ministry. If you will look at the library of the lost books of, of what they call the Bible that truly is not lost. And these are the words that I have to say. One more last thing. And that is this. I want you to know that you are my children and I want to laugh with you. I want you to ask me questions that you may think is silly, but I want to laugh and I want to give you the answers. I want to take delight and teach you. I want to give you secret revelations like I give as Elisheva and Ezra. I take great delight in those who truly love my Yahushua and who truly strive each day to obey and when they do sin they quickly quickly repent ask forgiveness right away and this isn't just saying a simple prayer if I've offended you today then please forgive me tell me what you've done so I can cleanse you from that sin oh my little ones on a Shavuot, I give you this gift, and I speak plainly to you, not only just in tongues. I speak plainly so everyone can understand. I know who are my true children, and just because I molded you, as that book said, I tell you this, when you see the clones and the robots that look like they are flesh, Remember Satan counterfeits, but can he possibly do what I, the Creator, just said? Where can he do that kind of creation? He cannot. He can only give you a mere imitation. They can cause you to make one another to look alike, and they call them clones. But I tell you this, I laugh and mock at their so-called imitations. I have surprises in store for you. How I'm going to protect you. When you evil elite ones think that you've got it and I know that you he listen to the true prophets and you try to duplicate and you try to go before me so things can't happen and you try to up the time before it's line upon line and precept upon precept. I already know your minds. I know what you're going to do and I've already gone before you and I've already know how I'm going to protect my beloved baby's bride, chosen ones and elect. And these are the words of comfort I give to you. Now when you hear this, if you receive this, then give me praise, honor and glory for I've taken the time 
to speak to you, my ring maiden, and I've given you the time because I love you so much. I want to get to know you more. I want you to learn to obey. I want you to obey Yahushua and never deny him. Even if it means, and I speak to the guests now of the marriage supper of the Lamb, you cannot measure up to be the bride, and you know it. But obey, just strive to obey, and never deny it. In that which I call the time of Jacob's sorrow, never, never deny my son Yahushua's name, that which will be called the great tribulation. Never deny his name even though it means your life, even though it means that you will have to put your head on a cold, hard steel guillotine, and you'll know before that comes down on your head, you will also cry out to Yahushua, and your spirit will be taken before your flesh can even feel the blade, and you see, O oh, enemies of mine, you see they had no, they have no glory, for you never even felt it. Instead, you are standing before me in heaven dressed in white. Oh, who are these who come out of the great tribulation dressed in white in a number so great to count? It is you who will be called the guests at the marriage supper of the Lamb. These are the words I comfort you with. What words will you comfort me with? How will you obey? How will you protest against the abortions and the atrocities that's going on in this world today? Will you just keep remaining silent? For when the good men remain silent, the evil prevail. How many of you are silent? And where are my churches? Where are those who proclaim the name of Jesus Christ? Why do you not even question the so-called Pope? Where is he? I'll tell you where he is. He's not on your side, but you must protest. You must speak. You must in some way do something to prove that, that you really belong to me and serve Yahushua. And remember this, nothing, nothing, nothing is worth the price of missing not only I, Yahweh, Yahushua and Ima Yah, the sweet Holy Spirit. But nothing is worth missing heaven and all the consequences if you do. We want to take great delight and welcome you. But again, it was all preordained. Whether you will listen, whether you will obey, whether you will repent and come to Yahushua today, there is a page of salvation. Look for it on this online site and you will see how to be able to pray. And then when the Satan says, Aha, I caught you in a sin today. Remember that I said, Call out right away in the name of Yahushua. Say, Oh, I'm so sorry I did this. Please help me not to do it again. And believe it's been forgiven at the cross. As long as you don't keep premeditating, as long as you don't say, oh, now I have an excuse of sin in every way because you shall pay that price on that cross for me at Calvary. That's not why it was done. And you know, you foolish ones, the price that you will pay for teaching. And I speak to the churches now who do this, that there's no such thing as sin. Do not worry about this anymore. And you refuse to speak of holiness. You refuse because you're silent by the governments. But even Donald Trump said, and even Donald Trump put an executive order that you are allowed to speak in freedom at this time. Use it while you can. Use it while you can. For the time is coming oh so shortly and you're already seeing it as YouTube censors and 
Google censors and Facebook censors and every social media. Do you think I don't know their names? You think I didn't know beforehand this is what would be done? Use your freedom, my children, while you can. And I speak this warning all over the world. Use this freedom while you can in any way you can. And these are the words I have to say on this that will be released on Shavuot 2017. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. Thank you, Yahushua. Thank you, Nishmin. Imaya, for this wonderful word that you have given us beautiful revelation and secrets. We bless your holy name. We comfort you, Abba Yahweh. We comfort you, Yahushua. We comfort you, Imaya. <clears throat> and Yahushua is there. Abba Yahweh, I, I want to thank you. I want to praise you. I am... <laughs> I am no different than anyone else, as you said. I am just your messenger. When this mouth opens up, I know not what you're going to say. I learn revelations along with everyone else. I am not one of those educated fools. I do not learn from any kind of theology school. I am just a sinner saved by grace. And Ezra and I live each li our lives each day to have a testimony as unto Enoch, to be found pleasing unto you. That is our cry, and that should be the cry for everyone who wants to be part of the bride of Yahushua. Ask to have a testimony as unto Enoch, that you are found pleasing, Abba Yahweh, and then you won't have to die, and you will be raptured up into the heavens, into the sky.
Dear Yahushua, I accept you now as my Lord and Savior. You are the God that I love. I believe you paid the price for my sins at Calvary. You died and arose from the dead on the third day. I ask you, Yahushua, to come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me clean of all unrighteousness. I am sorry. I have sinned. I turn away from those sins. Thank you for filling me with your Holy Spirit and giving me the desire to serve you all the days of my life. And live your life in me, Yahushua, so you will be glorified. Thank you for giving me the desire to read your Bible and give me the wisdom to understand it. Thank you for loving me and saving my soul, causing my faith to grow, so one day I will be with you in heaven. Fill me with your Holy Spirit now and deliver me from the evil one. In your name, Yahushua, I pray. Help me, Yahushua, to remember all have sinned and fall short of the glory of Yahweh, and you came to save us sinners. That's why you are called our Savior. Amen. Read this prayer and then read it again. This time not with head knowledge, but with all your heart. Believe it in faith. And remember, Yahushua is not only God, but He is your best friend. He cares so much for you. He loves you so much, just the way you are. He hates sin, but He loves you, the sinner. Yahushua paid the price for your sins. Now you don't need to feel guilty or condemned anymore. Confess your sins to Yahushua, name them, then tell him you're sorry. Ask him to forgive you, all your past and present sins. A sin is anything you have done or are doing that displeases a holy Yahweh. No one is perfect, remember that. Read the New Testament and get to know who Yahushua is. John 3.16 the Bible says you must confess Him as Lord and Savior, so He will confess you before the Father. So don't be ashamed of Yahushua. He's not ashamed of you. Tell someone you have accepted Yahushua of Calvary and Nazareth this day, and all the angels in heaven are rejoicing. Let us rejoice with you. If you need a pastor, we have more than one. Welcome to the family of Yahushua. We look forward to meeting you in heaven, if not on earth. Email Elisheva Eliyahu and let her know about the gift of eternal life you have just inherited from our precious Yahushua, the Mashiach. Walk off into the taking back from the enemy. Let me share with you. Let me share with you.